hello there unix operating system is very secure it is very difficult to hack such a operating system to see that we'll see a file in unix operating system that is inside the etc directory which is security slash pass wd file so this is the snapshot of this file only super user has the access to this file so this output shown shows us that sam is the user of the system the above block here just starts with the username and a single colon on the next lines are the attributes of this user the first attribute or we can say the first flag is password which is encrypted in some format the encryption of the password is done by the system using different system encryption algorithms empty field indicates no password for the user and if star is present then user cannot log in into the system the next field is last update this field indicates when the password was lastly changed it gives us the time of seconds since 1st of january 1970 to the current date as from 1970 the unix started its main development so it considers from 1st of january 1970 till the current date so these are the number of seconds in the last update field next are the two flags now these two flags specifies the restrictions applied by a login pass wd and su command now for this snapshot the admin flag indicates the information can be accessed by only the super user or the root user and the next flag that is no check flag indicates root user have no restriction on updating the password of any user now generally the above values are automatically updated when the pass wd command is executed pass wd command is used to change the password pass wd and etc slash pass wd which we have seen in my earlier videos is different in which the first is command that is pass wd whereas the next is the file when password change command is executed the admin and mdchg field will be updated that is admin change field amd chg is nothing but admin change field the file is accessed only by the super user that is the root any user can change his password using the pass wd command administrator or super user have a right to set the password of any user with pass wd command so simply this file contains extended password information the information in the slash security slash pass wd file is in ascii format it contains the block with password information each and every stanza that is block can be identified with the help of username and a single colon every line contains one attribute and a value pair now let us see the contents inside this file you can see the first user root has some values for password and last update field and the flags are empty as flag field is optional then what strange thing you can see here is all the rest users have star in front of their password field 
which simply means that user cannot log in into the system and if the field was empty then it might have indicated no password for the user in the next video we'll discuss the etc slash group file which stores the fundamental information of all the groups inside the unix operating system so if you don't want to miss the next very important and informative video consider subscribing and until then keep learning by doing keep learning keep growing see you in my next video bye bye and take care